One moment he was next to Richard, half concentrating on yet another film, and counting the minutes until they were back on the ground. The next, he was somewhere else. The island. He recognized it at once, and knew it so well that he had to remind himself that he had never actually been there, only ever visited it in his dreams. There was the Tower of Black Broken Rock, and there was the sea as ugly as liquid tar spreading out all around it. There was no wind, but the clouds were still racing across a darkening sky. Matt wondered what it all meant. Why was he here? Why did he so frequently return? He looked down and saw the strange reed boat that had been making its way towards him the last time he came here. It had reached the edge of the island and sat abandoned on the grey sand. Matt! Someone had called his name. He turned round and saw the boy from the boat, standing on a rocky shelf just below him. The two of them were about the same age, but the boy was smaller and thinner than him, wearing clothes that were little more than rags. Matt opened his mouth to answer. He knew who the boy was, and why he was there. He had come to collect him, to take him to the three others who were still waiting on the mainland, just half a mile away. But the words never came. There was a scream. Matt looked up just in time to see the swan plunging out of the sky, its neck straining forward. It came at him with all the power of a plane crash. Even as he looked, the swan drew closer, its gaping beak filling his vision as if it were about to swallow him whole. The other boy cried out. Matt felt himself falling. There was a bump. And he opened his eyes. Richard was sitting next to him. They had arrived in Lima.